Good morning. So welcome back or welcome to Yoga with Kira. This is day 13 of gratitude and it's a Sunday yum. Mm, it's going to be a yum yum. <laughs> Nella in Dublin, I just get the best text from Nella after a Sunday yum. She's like, oh, that was a yum yum. <laughs> um, so yeah, so loads of pigeon type things and hips and gliders and things like that. Yeah, it should be yum. It should be lovely. So come lie on your back. Come, come. And uh, lying on your back, your knees are bent. Your feet are flat on the floor and just settle in and just find your body as it connects to the floor. Uh, just see where your breath moves within you. Maybe it's a deep breath. Maybe it isn't. You know, just notice when I breathe, what happens? Maybe take that sigh, that breath, breath, and just land. Nice. And then just sway your knees from side to side. And as you sway, slow the movement down. So you're looking for smoothness. You can bring your arms out wide beside you. You can bring your arms overhead if you wish. When I bring my arms overhead, it includes my rib cage in a different way. And for me, that feels nice right now. But see for you whether that feels nice or not. And either bring your arms wide or overhead. And then begin to just squeeze a little bit more near the end of your movement. And that sense of Knees travel down a little bit more. Nice. Pause. So bring your arms wide and out to the side. So you're going to use your elbows and your arms a little bit more to stabilize what's going to happen. So lift your right foot off the floor. Okay. And your knee is going to travel up towards your chest. And then drop over towards the left. And then draw your knee a little bit higher when you get there and then come back to center and then reach up with your right hand and hold on either to the back of the knee to your ankle or to the sole of your foot into happy baby okay release your foot drop your knee down towards the left swing it a little bit higher and notice what you would touch with your toes so you can touch your left knee if you want with your toes you can touch your left hand with your toes or you can go higher where your leg is lengthening and trying to touch the floor up and out to the side, okay? Coming into happy baby pose on the right. Swing your knee over towards the left, touch somewhere and maybe touch a little bit further. So just begin to swing, happy baby. Slow the movement down. Swing into gliders, touch the floor. Happy baby. Pull your foot down, release, swing, touch the floor. One more time, happy baby. And swing, touch the floor. Super. From here, squeeze the right knee up towards you, hug it deeply in. And then bring your right foot to rest on top of your left knee and open your right knee away from you. Nice. Squeeze your right knee towards you, hug it in. And then right foot to left knee, move your right knee away. So I'm opening out into the thigh. Nice. And again, squeeze your right knee towards you and move your right knee away. Now lift the left foot off the floor and squeeze your left thigh towards you. And that's going to pull your right leg in. Foot to the floor, squeeze your right knee towards you. Foot to your knee, and draw your left knee towards you. Right knee in. Right knee towards you. And then just sway from side to side. You can either have your left foot on the floor or you can have your left foot in the air. My elbows are strong and on the floor because that's going to brace my shoulders which is going to support the the weight of my pelvis so i'm not rolling over i'm twisting and so to twist you keep your shoulders steady and your hips move 
in a different direction than your shoulders. How far each side can you go in wellness? Can you slow down near the end of your range and then come back and then down? Boom, back. Nice. Become like a, a swaying pendulum kind of thing. What a great word, pendulum. And, uh, and just sway. Nice, coming back to center, drop both feet to the floor, pause. Nice, lift the left foot off the floor, drop the uh, both knees over towards the right side and just notice, so now when I just drop over the first time, my left foot touches my right knee. Come back to center, come into happy baby pose on the left, pull your foot towards you, your knee or your ankle. Nice, release, over to the side. Notice, can you touch a little bit further? So we're just really leaning into our range. Happy baby on the left. Swing your left foot over, touch something. Maybe it's moving towards your hand a little bit more. It's really this sense of, for me, it's like the range begins to steadily expand as I move into it. Happy baby. Hmm, foot over towards the right. Maybe your leg is starting to lengthen up and over the top of your hand. Maybe not. It really doesn't matter what the shape looks like. You're listening to the quality of the feeling. There's a sense of connectedness, challenge and connectedness. Nice, one last time. Super cool. Squeeze the left knee towards you. Hug it in. Can't remember what we did. Uh, what do we do? Funny. Can't remember. I'm having a total blank. Left knee towards you. Oh yes. Bring your. God, that was so bad. And bring your left foot to the top of your right knee, and then from here, open your left knee away. Nice, squeeze the left knee towards you. And bring your left foot to your knee, move it away. Nice, and again, squeeze your left knee towards you. Bring your foot to your knee, open it away. And now lift your right foot off the floor. Bring your foot to the floor, squeeze your knee in. Foot to your knee, lift. And then sway from side to side and have your elbows really steady on the floor. Oh, like, what's the range? What's the feeling? Just noticing. Begin to hang out a little bit more at the end of your range. Nice. Both feet to the floor. Pause. Nice. Double happy baby. So both feet are up. Both hands are either holding behind your knees or holding onto your ankles or holding onto the soles of your feet. Find the four corners of your torso. So pull your shoulders downwards and away from your ears. Widen through the pelvis and imagine that the back of your pelvis is going to land on the floor. And then just sway a little bit from side to side. And just as I do this, I feel the muscles of the backs of my shoulders. I feel the, the lower back. It's like a massage for my lower back. Nice. Bring the soles of your feet together. Pull your feet down towards you. And just deepen your breath into your belly. Nice. 
Okay. Feeling, sensing, widening into the knees. So it's like I'm pulling my knees wide as I pull my feet towards me. Nice. Lower down, baby toe side of your feet comes to the floor. And then pull your feet towards you. Squeeze and close to your belly. Nice. Baby toe side of your feet comes down to the floor. Pull your feet towards your belly. Nice. Last one. Baby toe side of your feet to the floor. And feet to your belly. Rock from side to side. Maybe your thigh comes to the floor. Maybe your knee. Maybe it doesn't. No matter. Nice. Both feet to the floor. Pause. Nice. So roll over and come to your hands and knees. So rolling over. Hands and knees are on the floor. And just round your back. And arching your back. Nice. Rounding your back. Arching your back, rounding your back, arching your back. Nice. So bring your right foot to the outside of your right hand and just rock forward and backwards there. And slow it down, make it smooth. Nice. And then imagine you can get your nose closer to the floor. And then how would you push deeply into your hands? So round your back and then arch your back, let your nose come down. Round your back, nose comes down. Round your back, nose comes down. Maybe you try and bring your elbows to the floor. Just see. Nice. Change. Left foot to the outside of the left hand. Bend your knee. Lengthen into your leg. Knee. Lengthen. Knee. Lengthen. Nice. One more time. Bend it. Lengthen it. Nice. Now, arching your back, bring your nose lower. Round your back. Arching your back. Oh, rounding. Nice. Arching your back. Oh, rounding. Nice. Both knees back together. So now we're going to venture into the land of the pigeon. So as always, knees, 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 and knees. So come into either a zigzag or do something else. You know, if you know, oh, my knees hate the pigeon, then find something else to do. Listen to your knees deeply. So bring your hands a little bit wider. Bring your right knee forward towards your right hand so that the knee is down and begin by coming into zigzag. So that's where both knees are bent and both hands are either side of the right knee. Bring your nose down towards your right knee. And then rise up. Pull your left elbow back and then reach your left hand along the floor as far as you can. Bring your nose to your knee. Sliding back. Reach, nose to your knee. All the time, my right hand is supporting the weight of me. It really helps. Nose to your knee. Pause there. Long to that left arm. Nice. Both hands to the floor. Come back. Both knees together. And then bring your left knee forward to your left hand and then come into zigzag on the left. Both hands are either side of the left knee. Bring your nose to your knee. And then pulling back, pull your right elbow back. Reach your right hand long. Mm, pull your elbow back. Right arm long. Pull your elbow back. Right arm long. Pause there.
Breathing, reaching, lengthening. Just come all the way back up, both hands to the floor, both knees to the floor. So we're going to go a little bit further. So if that felt deep enough, stay there. Otherwise, bring your right knee forward to your right hand and then lengthen your left leg long behind you. And my right foot is underneath my left hip. So my right foot is not underneath my right hip. It's underneath my left hip. And then just lift up and then sink down. So you can do this in zigzag as well, where you lift up a bit and you sink down. If you're in pigeon, then you're lifting up and sinking down. It's just a sense of moving, lengthening, stretching into the belly, looking forward, lengthening up, and then rounding your back. So maybe, yes, so round your back as you look down, arching your back as you look forward. How high can you lift your hips? I'm lifting my right knee as well as I lift. Nice, one more time. Super. Walk your hands forward. Rest your belly down. Elbows are supporting you. As always, really modify. Like, don't, your knees should not be enduring anything here. They shouldn't be struggling. They should be really well. So find the place where your knees are well. Because if you're, if you're not bending your knees deeply, if you're not sitting on the floor a lot, then this is a really strong pose for your knees. So approach with caution, but settle in and be deep. So your back knee might be bent very deeply and you're resting your belly down towards the right foot and thigh. Okay. Might be that two legs are straight and that you're just leaning down towards the right leg. See, you know, really find, find the version of this that suits you. Come all the way up and come to the other side. So left knee forward, left foot is underneath the right hip. My hands are steady on the floor. I'm going to round my back. And then I'm going to arch my back. And when I arch, I come up onto my fingertips. When I round, I'm actually lifting quite high, actually, now. Very nice. Arching, looking forward. Rounding. Arching. As always, maybe this side is the side that you need to mind and take care of. One more time. Rounding and arching cool bring your elbows down adjusting adapting listening breathing settling Nice. Bring both hands to the floor, come back, and just come sit on the floor with the soles of your feet together and your knees apart. Pull on your shin, sit up really tall, look up towards the ceiling. Nice. Rounding your back, drop your forehead down towards your toes. Arching your back, look up, lengthening. Rounding your back, drop your forehead down. Arching, looking up, rounding, looking down. One more time, arching, looking up, rounding, looking down. Pause in the rounding, I just forward fold. You can have your feet a bit more forward, you can have your feet wider, you can have your legs straight, you can have your feet together. Just find a way that you come into a forward fold that feels comfortable. I'm settling in. So the two girls who went to the Himalayas, um, they, uh, the, the story of that day was that I'd lost this jumper. And, uh, and so it was very funny. They, they were asking like, did I ever find the jumper? Because <laughs> they were stuck in the time machine of all 19. <laughs> it's so funny. Nice. Come lie on your back all the way down. Lying on your back, your knees are bent, your feet are flat on the floor. 
And just do what you do. So either stretch your legs out, bring the soles of your feet together, rock, lengthen your legs straight up towards the ceiling or whichever version. Oh, it was such a cute picture. And uh, Nada, Nada uh, does the yoga with us and she's in Bangkok at the moment. And she took this amazing picture of her feet uh, when she was doing her yoga practice. It was really beautiful. So send pictures. I always love pictures of, of stuff. It's very cool. So just maybe wiggle your toes, stretch into your legs, settle through your back, slow things down. Wiggling my toes always brings resource to me. It's just such a resource to wiggle my toes. <laughs> Roll your ankles. Roll in the other direction. Nice, bring your feet to the floor and just come to rest. Nice, Sunday, um, how wonderful. <laughs> Oh, great. Uh, thanks for joining me. Uh, very lovely to have you here. Very lovely to be here. Um, see you tomorrow, bright and early, and, uh, or late in the afternoon, if that's what you're doing. <laughs> uh, so great, so awesome, so cool. And uh, yeah, be well, uh, be you. Keep listening, you know, be just as you are, whatever that is, you know. Um, super cool, ciao. Mm -hmm.